All right, I wanted to make a video uh, just to show how quickly uh, it is to put on a quick disconnect mount uh, for the JTEC laser. Um, this is the quick disconnect mount. Um, right now it's got the shield on. shield just pops off. Hopefully without me dropping uh, my mount. <laughs> okay, so the shield pops off, uh, and there's the laser. Uh, it's, everything's mounted right to here. You're going to get the hardware, uh, not the long ones that I have in here. Uh, I bought some. Uh, they're on order. They're coming in that are the exact length you need. Uh, it'll come with the four mounting holes for the uh, for the driver up on top. Uh, and it'll come with two of these nice uh, orangish red... Uh, anodized thumb screws for attaching it to the side of the DeWalt mount right here. You can use uh, two is all you need. In fact, you can probably get away with one. Um, your mounts are going to look like this when you get them. There's, they're going to be in a few pieces here, three pieces for the main. Um, the shield, the shield will be already uh, glued together and the port the exhaust port will be glued in place also. Uh, that's just where this guy here connects to. Uh, this is a coupling that you can replace uh, with an angled one. I can I can make angled ones too. Or you can find someone to print you just that if you want uh, to come off at a different angle. But I'm just including the straight one with the kit. Uh, right now I am printing more. You can see there's a set going right there. There's a set of the uh, shield parts being printed right there. It's pretty cool seeing it build up. Um, these right here, uh, they just push right on the ends. They're pretty good tight fit, uh, but they, they go on. They go on snug. Uh, so test fit it first. Uh, make sure you get the correct side on the correct one, but I, I made it so you, they really can only go one way. So you, you really can't mess that up. But uh, feel how hard it is to push them on before you put any glue in there. Try to use glue that sets in like five minutes opposed to a three second or five second or ten second super glue. Uh, if you can use like a two part epoxy, uh, that'd probably be the best. Um, just to give you time to ensure that you're clamping all the way down on in. Um, it should be strong enough that you can put a clamp across the two pieces sideways, like one of those rubber, uh, those blue clamps, those Irwin clamps, or maybe even two of them. Just get them on there, clamp it in, let it set up, and it'll be good to go. Um, the ones... The production ones are uh, don't have my uh, logo or website on the outside. That's how you know I printed them. Uh, they're just smoother looking that way. Um, this was a beta test or a prototype. Uh, I just didn't like the way it was laying out the uh, the text uh, personally. So that is for beta testing. Um, so the. The production ones, the ones you're paying for, are not going to have that. They're just going to be smooth. All right, now to get to the point, to, so you can see how quick it is uh, to change this. Okay, so here I have it in the corner. I just got done milling, and I actually did. I'm making a, a business tag uh, for a furniture company to glue on uh, to their furniture. This is out of maple. Uh, so I just uh, surface milled it to make it nice and flat, cut out the shape, and now I want a laser engrave. So all I got to do is take the mount. Uh, the cables are just sitting on the back here. You can make a little zip tie holder or something to put them up there. But all you're going to do is get your thumb screws, take the mount. Might have to put the phone down here. Put this lip in that uh, in the crack there, and pull it across. 
and it'll be a nice and tight fit. And then uh, obviously this was a uh, prototype that that I had issues with, um, but me not wanting to waste anything, I just figure I'd use it for myself until I'm catch up, caught up on everybody else's orders. You guys come first. All right. So, anyways, you just uh, put that there, line that up, and put a thumb screw in. Uh, when you're not when you're doing this without holding a phone, you can go a lot faster. Let me say. And once you get one on, a second one is really fast. Uh, I recommend using the top and bottom hole of the three. Um, but once it's on there, uh, it is really rock solid. Now remember, you're not going to have any resistance, so there is nothing to worry about. But that thing is rock solid. I use a little three inch block. It says laser block. And I just zero my laser so that the, this is three inches exactly. I just laser it so that this is on there. Uh, or zero it so that the laser uh, housing is three inches from uh, the surface. That's how I got it focused. Uh, that gives a little bit of room for the shield uh, so you don't have to worry about it hitting anything. Uh, but the shield just goes on real nice like that. So you'll be able to see uh, you'll be able to see everything without worrying about it. I'd still wear safety glasses uh, with it, but you don't have to worry now about uh, the kids walking down the stairs real quick or popping in someone opening a door. Uh, and you'll have a nice exhaust port out the back to run a uh, one and a half inch hose. Uh, to a fan sucking the fumes out all right so that's it in a nutshell it just latches on there put your two thumb screws on there get your cables out one in two in hit the reset button every time you disconnect the power you gotta Hit that reset button, and now you're good to go. That's it. So there you go. That's how we how the uh, quick disconnect mounts onto the uh, Dewalt router. Pretty easy. You can still use uh, you can still use uh, have your dust shoe in place. Uh, it's the the mount is about three inches wide where it protrudes right here so as long as uh, your dust shoe when you slide it out has a three inch wide opening you can you can keep it in place uh, everything mounted in the front what's nice about that is I can zero uh, pretty much right right in front so I can line this up I can sit there and take my time lining this up so that when it goes on it's in line with the bit. Uh, that might take a little bit of uh, calibration, but could be really worth it. And then you can use G30 for your laser and G28 for your spindle. Anyways, that's it. It's pretty easy. I'll uh, do some better, more professional videos uh, when I get some time.